pretty much set with our structure. Now it's just about going back through and making each section polished and finished and making it the best it can be. We need to focus on the drop and we need to dig deeper into it and get a nice melody. Otherwise, it's gonna to be too repetitive. Let's look at what we've got in the sample pack for vocal chops. Actually, I know I set one aside at one point that I really liked. But let's try to pull this in, see what it sounds like. It's probably not in the right key. Yeah, not in the right key. It may not fit the track, I just really like this loop. See, so we're in the key of D, and right now this is F sharp minor. So we could go up to B minor. That is really nice. That's a, that's a possibility. I don't know. Let's play around with some other vocal chops and see what we've got from the pack. Interesting. Let's hear what that one sounds like. So we're stretching it to a perfect four bar loop so it fits the tempo of the song. Just gotta find the right key. It's a little bit ahead of the beat since we're kind of laying everything in the drop back a little bit. So I'm gonna push it back on the grid. That's pretty nice. So I think that's a good starting point. I actually like it a little better than the other one. The other one is a little busy for the synth part we have going on. I'm gonna lose that one for a second and let's just work with this vocal chop. So I want that to kind of clean up there. So I'm gonna hold this. And then here, I kind of want to change it up a little. I want to repeat that. All right, so now I want to kind of fill those gaps with maybe a different vocal chop, just to kind of give it some variation. That one's kind of interesting. It's a little similar to what we've got going right now. That one's pretty cool. Let's try, see if we can grab something from there. So right now it's in B flat minor. We just need it to be in B minor to be matched up to our key. So we'll transpose it up one. Just see what it sounds like if we just fill those gaps. That's pretty cool. Let's just time it out. That's pretty nice. Let's see what this sounds like. Uh, 
I like this melody better. Let's try that. I just want this note to be a little different, so I'm going to tune just this note. Bum, bum, bum. Down two. So what's really cool with vocal chops like this is you can make the melody whatever you want by just tuning individual sections of it. So you can really vary these and even combine them like we've done here to create a brand new vocal chop. So now it's pretty cool. Like we can even leave this like this and we've got like a very interesting vocal chop that switches back and forth from, from different tones and textures because we pulled it from two different loops from the pack. So in this part, I kind of want the vocal chop to play along with that melody that I laid down in the keys earlier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take one little bit of it, maybe this first bit, and I'm going to put it into a sampler and play it along with that melody. Let's see. up here, I'm just going to take it out. Now we've got a great vocal chop. I'm going to group these all together and I'm going to do a little bit of work on it to get the tone right. I'm going to start with virtual mix rack, and I'm just gonna compress it. Vocal chops, you can really slam uh, before they start to sound too compressed. I really like the FG116 on it. Just sounds a little beefier. Um, now I'm going to use a little EQ Also, I'm seeing a lot of low frequency rumble here. I'm just gonna cut that out. It's crazy, you don't realize how much that has an impact on the sound. Like you don't even really register like all that rumble. When you hear it without it, you're like, oh, it sounds so much cleaner immediately. So this curve sounds really good on here. And I'm gonna do one more trick that I really like with Kilohertz Multipass. This is like the magic sauce. This is zero to a hundred, we're gonna go into the slate digital folder and we're gonna go to the dynamics sweetener. As soon as you hear it without it, you're like, what, what happened to all the exciting frequencies? It just pumps these highs in a really nice way with the dynamics. It's using upward compression on the multiband. Um, a little saturation. It sounds really nice, super easy. Let's listen to it in the mix. Nice, so that sounds pretty good. We've got a nice melody there. I'm just gonna copy it over to the second drop for now.
If you want to see how we create this entire track from complete scratch, be sure to check out the EDM Track From Scratch Masterclass on Slate Academy. These videos are full of tips and tricks to help you improve as a producer. You can watch it now as a part of the Slate Digital All Access Pass, which includes thousands of dollars worth of award-winning plugins, the industry's most game-changing synth, Anna 2, and masterclasses taught by some of the biggest names in the industry. Get access now, starting at just $9.99 per month.